Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Benedict Construction. Summer is coming. That means it won't be long before you're thinking about adding a deck or patio, new outdoor kitchen. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, when you start looking at things like that, you need to call the custom remodel specialists, Benedict Construction. They've done work for a bunch of the guys here. Uh, they do good work, Benedict Construction. Give them a call with your project. All right. Want to uh, remind you, we've still got John Curry coming up, UT Pro Prospects, more. Let's take a look over at the Benedict Construction Big Board very quickly. Dave Hart finished off his five-year tenure at Tennessee this week. The good, he improved finances. You can tally some of that up to the SEC network. But he then turned around and invested it in infrastructure. All right, academic support very much improved. He inherited a pro several programs that were in trouble academically. Uh, support for coaches which I don't know that you had proper support for your coaching staff under Mike Hamilton in that regime, which would raise questions about John Curry now coming in. Combined programs, that's a, that was a thankless job that he was told to. I mean, he was hired with the specific plan of doing that. Whoever did it was going to be seen as an ax man and was going to get sued. That was him. The bad, lack of SEC titles, no question. The hiring of Donnie Tindall, they got very lucky that the NCAA caught on at Southern Miss. I hope Tyndall turns everything around for him, but that was not a great hire. The handling of the Conzo Martin thing, like Martin, dislike Martin, that was botched. The Lady Vols name change, just Barney Fife shooting yourself in the foot and reloading and shooting yourself in the foot again. And finally, he wasn't great at public relations. I don't put the, the sexual assault lawsuit in there because quite frankly, that thing covered 20 years and could have come when any athletic director was sitting there. That wasn't Dave Hart's fault. All right, fans don't care about infrastructure. They care about wins and losses. So he's not going to get a good grade there. What might get him a good grade is if people feel like he's fixed football because that's – if football's good, most people are happy, as you were kind of hinting at earlier. I don't think it's to the point that people ignore all the other faults. But it, football makes a lot of money and does a lot of things. Did football get fixed on his watch? My and opinion is yes. For sure. Now, is Tennessee going to win a championship? That's still very much to be determined, I think, with Butch Jones. And right now, I'm skeptical. But 9-4 and four each of the last two seasons, back-to-back -back top 25 seasons, compared to where it was, I'm well aware of the big-picture standard, but compared to where it was, yes, it, you have to say that it's fixed. Three straight bowl wins after three straight years not going to the postseason. I agree with you. I think it's fixed. I, it's not where you want it to be. But, you know, if you're going 9-4, and four, it's a hell of a lot better than it was who, when, when Dave Hart was hired here. Other than Alabama, who else in the SEC has won 18 games the past two years? And, and when you, you know, beat three Big Ten teams in bowl games three years in a row, I, I, I realize, that like you guys and everybody else, it's not where exactly where everybody wants it to be, but I think it's a long way towards being fixed. And compare it to where it was. Yeah, <laughs> compared to where I mean, it was. the Derek Dooley that really dropped off, and then you had to build that back up. Wow. If that's not fixed, what is, I mean, it may not be perfect. It may not be what a lot of fans want, but you fixed the problem there. Well, he was, they were, where they were was on probation from, <laughs> from Lane Kiffin's one season. The answer to your question, and I'll refer back to one of John's shows, Florida, the only other program other than that's Alabama one that, that's won more games than Tennessee the last two years. And no, they're not, they're not at their destination, but they're at a launch point now. So when guys like Ethan Wolf, as we talked about in the opening segment, or Jared Garantino, Garantano, I'm saying it now, Garantino, when Garantano <laughs> starts talking about SEC titles, that's realistic after back-to-back -to -back top 25 seasons. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, right. but, but they're at a launch point now, and hopefully, uh, for Tennessee's sake, they got enough of a foundation where they could make a run. If Tennessee had won the East last year, yeah. Yeah. would, now there's some people that still would have said, no, it's not fixed. It's not fixed until we're winning a national title every year. That's the way they sound. I know when I read them on Twitter, that's how they sound. You see it in the, in the, in the font, whiny font. Uh, but do you think people would be more likely to say it's fixed had they, even, let's say they lost to South Carolina, didn't win the East, but at least beat Vanderbilt and went to Sugar Bowl. Do you think you'd have more people smiling as yes. Dave Hart left than you do right now? Yes. Of course, of course yeah. you would. Yeah. yeah, his approval rating in August was better than it was today because in August, Tennessee was expected to win the East, so the mood around football was better. Agreed. Uh, yes. One other thing that's going to be interesting to watch, uh, when you again, when Dave Hart got here, you still had athletes that were in Gibbs Hall, which is, you know, Gibbs Hall went back a long, long way. Now you're moving people into new facilities and everything. Um, all of that infrastructure he's laying, if, if no success comes under the John Curry regime, if it flatlines, goes worse, stays the same, whatever, Dave Hart will be, his five years will be what they are. If, we, if Curry, if their success under Curry 
it's going to change the way I think people view Hart, and I think people will say he laid some of the foundation for that. And just so to, I think just, part of the Curry just to be legacy fair to Hart, to Hart. He also worked under Jimmy Cheek, and I think that has an effect. I think the administration does have an effect on the AD. So okay. I think it's important to qualify that. All right, very good. When we come back, as Dave Hart leaves, John Curry begins, and some national writers lit him up this week. We'll discuss. Come on back. <laughs>